you know what's really frustrating as a YouTuber? Setting up your camera and your lights, charging your batteries, getting the microphone audio level set just right, giving your teeth a good brush, recording your videos, and then when you finally reach the editing stage, you realise that you missed a bit or said the wrong thing completely. <laughs> Personally, I know full well that I won't have the motivation to go back, set everything up again and re-record the video. That video is going to sit there gathering dust on the editing table forever. So what if I told you there was another way? A genius way at that. I'm about to show you some awesome software that lets you quickly and easily fix your videos and audio. And it's as simple as just typing into a text document. So in this video, I'm going to show you an amazing bit of software called Descript. This started off as a podcast editing app and has undergone massive development to become one of the most intriguing applications I've seen. Because Descript is an audio and video editor that works like editing a text document. It includes audio transcription, a screen recorder, a way to easily caption your videos, and in their own words, some mind-bendingly useful AI tools. Now this video isn't a review, check out my other videos for that. No, this video is looking at one feature in particular called Overdub. This is Descript's crown jewel of features and something that could really help you with your content editing. I'm going to show you why. So Overdub is a feature that allows you to add fake audio of your own voice simply by typing the words in. It's a cloning technology. So let's say that you give a completely wrong fact or an instruction that's since changed. You can use Overdub to add in the correct audio without having to record anything. In other words, if you talk utter crap, then you can edit it really easily by typing in the correct sentence. It's an insanely good use of AI-based software, but the question is, does it actually work or is this some kind of marketing gimmick that never delivers up to the reality? Let's find out. So the first thing we need to do is sign up for Descript. I've added a link in the description which will get you a seven-day trial of the Pro account so that you can test it all week if you need to. Now it's important to note that Overdub started off as a feature just for the Pro or Enterprise versions, which start at roughly $24 a month. However, they've recently made it a free feature, although with a limited vocabulary. But you can give it a test either way and see if it's for you. Once signed up, you can use Descript through your browser by logging into the website as it's a cloud service. All your recordings and creations will synchronize in the cloud, which is really useful, especially if you use a team and you want collaboration tools to work with other people. It's important to note though that not all editing options are available on the cloud, so we need to download the application locally to our PC or laptop. Next, you need to choose a voice to use for overdub. If you don't wish to use your own voice, then Descript provides some stock voices, and I have to say, they're actually pretty good quality. There aren't many of them, but if you've ever used a text-to-speech reader before, you'll know how bad some of them can be. They're often really robotic sounding. These are pretty decent though. My own personal favourite is Malcolm. Let me know in the comments who your favourite is, and I'll just drop a few examples here now. My name is Nicholas, and this is a short test of the overdub feature. Malcolm here. Comment below and let me know who you think has the best voice. Make sure you vote Emily. Stop Emily. The viewer knows full well that I have the best voice. Vote in the comments. Anyway, let's say we aren't interested in a stock voice. We want the real deal and wish to create a voice of our own. This is pretty easy to do and involves a one-off task to configure Descript. In the application, you need to choose the Overdub tab. From there, follow the instructions. It will ask you to access a script that they've got on their website and read it back to the application. Whilst you can do this in just 10 minutes, the recommendation is actually at least 30 minutes of reading in order for Descript to have a good quality sample of your voice. Once this is complete, you submit the results back to Descript and it's processed usually within 24 hours. It's important to note that it's a one-off task. Unless you're adding in other users, you won't need to do it again. With our voice all set up, we're now ready to start using Descript. So I'm going to import one of my pre-made videos. As part of that import, Descript will transcribe my audio. If you wish to pay for a premium service and have this done at a greater accuracy, then you can do so by choosing the white glove option. But honestly, Descript do a great job with the automatic translations anyway. Now we can do lots of cool stuff like put the text on screen as captions or create audiograms, but the best part is overdub. On the left hand side, you can see where it's categorized the text for different speakers. In my case, this is just me, but many people use Descript for podcasts, interviews, and collaborations where there are multiple speakers. 
If we click on the speaker label, we can tell Descript who this person is and what voice profile to use. In other words, this is where we decide on a stock voice or the one that we configured. I'm gonna choose my voice. You can also see at the bottom how it shows you the words. So for those of you that are used to traditional editors, you can quickly reference the audio charts and the words too. But what about adding in new words and audio? That too is really easy and let me show you how. So let's assume that the sentence is wrong. I made an incorrect fact or I gave an instruction that has since changed. The first thing we need to do is highlight the text that we wish to adjust. And I do this by using a mouse and clicking and dragging across to make a selection. Or you can also click, hold down shift and then click again at the end of the selection. As soon as you do this, you get two options presented, one of which is overdub. And you can either click on the button or you can press D. This then changes to an input box where you can type in the part that you wish to add and press enter. Now Descript will add the text, but also generate some audio for you. You'll know when this is complete as you'll see it in the timeline below. Now press play and give it a test. So for example, if we make a mistake, like there are 12 months in the year, let's just see what we can do with that. You can literally remove and add audio by editing the entire project as simple as typing a Word document, which is pretty amazing. So this is just a quick test where we change a few words or even a sentence. Descript handles this great, so I'm happy with that. But what about creating a full paragraph using an AI voice clone completely? Well, let's test it. So I'm just gonna add in my sample text and I've kept it short and to the point, so hopefully it sounds natural enough. But if not, we know how easy it is to edit anyway. Now let's just press play. It's hard to believe these beautiful creatures are actually known as killer whales, but let's find out why, with some amazing facts. So, could you create an entire video using overdub? Well, technically you can with the stock voice, but it may not be quite as clear with your own. You would need to test it and tweak it and see how happy you are. But I've actually created another YouTube Shorts channel, which is all done using this exact feature. It's stock voice all the way through, and it sounds really good and really natural. I'm very happy with it. Now, one thing I really like about Descript is they don't claim their product to be perfect. In fact, they point out a lot of their limitations on the website. It's got a long way to become a complete video editor, but let's look at what they do get right, an overdub in particular. This is an amazing utility that allows us to edit and add audio without those words even having to pass your lips. It's pretty crazy and a little scary. Now I'm more than impressed with what Descript are building here and I intend to create some more videos to go alongside this one that shows you some of the better features of Descript. Who knows, I may even use my fake voice to create them. So if you'd like to watch a full review or even trial Descript yourself, then drop into the description where I've left all the relevant links and the video on screen next is also gonna help you with your content creation. I'll see you next time.